Hey, what's up gamers, 5150 here, and we are back to go ahead and see how we can unlock the power of DLSS frame generation in Starfield. Now, Starfield should have definitely had this at the start of the game when it actually released, and yeah, they didn't. Um, there's a lot of rumors out there that AMD is preventing Starfield from uh, ad letting them use DLSS in it, some kind of deal with them, which is kind of crappy it's kind of like reverse um nvidia because that's kind of what nvidia was doing for a while which they got a lot of uh crap for but anyway um we are able to get it in there using a mod and using the mod is definitely seeming to work and we are getting a lot more frames a lot more stable um even though you know generated frames aren't that great it does add a lot more fluid, uh, fluidity to your gameplay and everything. So let's go ahead and actually get to installing this. Now you just want to go over to Nexus Mods and install the uh, Starfield frame generation, which replaces FSR2 with DLSSG. Now there, I went ahead and installed it with the uh, Mod Manager. Um, you can download it directly and put the file into your main folder but the mod manager was the way that I went. You're gonna have to install two other things with it, which is the DLSS DIL and the uh, DLSS, sorry, it's not DLSS, what is it? DLSS three frame generation DIL. You just wanna download both of those to make sure that they are uh, installed as well because you have to have both of those in order for this to actually work. Now, once you get everything uh, downloaded, uh, your main uh, mod is going to go into the primary Starfield folder, and you'll see the uh, FSR2 streamline.asi, and then you just want to go from there and go into the streamline folder. And where is that? Oh, yeah, the streamline folder is up here, and you'll see the MV, uh, MVNGX dash DLSS. Um, there's two of those there's a DLSS and there's D DLSS G. You just want to make sure both of those are in that streamline folder. And once you have them in there, you're good to go. Everything should be working from there. If you have any crashes or anything like that, you just want. All right, so right now we're running 1440p with everything maxed out. And we have the uh, dynamic resolution set to 75%. At 75%, we get around 100 to 104 frames per second. Uh, in the daytime, and it, it looks... It looks pretty good. Uh, you'll see there's a little bit of jagged edges, um, you know, little lack of the anti-aliasing. Now, if they put this on native, it would definitely look a lot better. I'm a huge fan of uh, frame generation. It's definitely a lifesaver for anybody that has a 4 Series card uh, because you can get a lot more frames out of it, and you really don't notice it that much unless you're really really pixel peeping you're not going to notice that much of a difference now this is just feeling way better than it was before now we're going to go ahead and change this here to 100 percent so this is the full quality that you can get with dlss but it's with the frame generation on so with everything on it does look good and i'm only i only dropped down maybe five frames per second now remember i'm also losing about three frames per second from using um nvidia uh, shadow play to record the gameplay um usually i'll try to use my uh, capture card but it was just kind of a hassle to set up so i didn't do it this time but as you can see it's, it's not too bad you get a little bit of artifacting around some of the edges uh, I Like I said, it's not really all that terrible to look at. And if you're looking more for frames and you're already having to turn down to, say, uh, you know, 720p or 1080p, yeah, this is definitely a better choice. And it's definitely a better choice than an FSR2 for NVIDIA users. All right, so we're going ahead and setting the resolution scale all the way to 50%, which is the maximum you can use on for the DLSS. And this is where you really start seeing a lot of the jagged edges. You can tell in, say, the buildings, the statues. Uh, it just really doesn't feel that great and i i think the resolution is just down a little bit too much for me um if you're really just trying to maximize those frames though i definitely would say you know go ahead and bring it down to that 
I would actually go to 1080p first and try that and then bringing it down to 75% instead to see if it uh, feels a little bit better. Um, but if you look at the statue here, you can see the jagged edges a lot more. And if we even, uh, you know, bumped up, say, the sharpening, we'll go ahead and do that. Now you'll really be able to tell at 100% sharpening uh, the jagged edges there. So I do like keeping the sharpening down to like 50%. Uh, just let it stay smooth because uh, the jagged edges are a little bit too much even when I go to just 75%. The one thing that I do notice the most is the beard of Sam in here. Like you can definitely tell that it's like hardly uh, coming out and there's no definition to it like at all and it's kind of annoying. So if we turn this all the way back up to 100%. Let's go ahead and set the render scale all the way up. Yeah, right there. Okay, so if we turn this all the way back up, and you can see now his beard looks, you know, perfectly normal. You still have some jagged edges because I still have the sharpening all the way up. Um, because it just, it, this doesn't look good with all that sharpening. So we're going to go ahead and change that back down, and we'll take a look at... Uh, a few spots here all right so we're gonna go ahead and turn off the dlss and uh frame generation and see what we actually get without all that on um yeah you see that i barely can reach 60 frames per second in most spots um you can tell that the uh jagged edges are all gone and it's you know actually using some decent uh anti-aliasing but in city it's definitely not playable to me uh if you start you start going to a few spots and we're going to go over to one of the spots here i'm going to show you um uh, one of the main parts of the city where it just gets really bad all right so right here as you get off of the train i get probably the worst frames per second you can see i drop down to 40s <laughs> uh i think like 45 is about my lowest here but yeah, it keeps on just, it just drops. It's, it's awful. See, we got 42, 43. Yeah, this is just not good. It looks great, but I think, you know, considering that the DLSS with the frame generation can give us so much more, I, I think it's worth doing it. Let's go ahead and turn those things on quick. All right, so we got everything maxed out again. We're at 100% on DLSS uh, frame generation. And, I mean, look at that. That's almost double the FPS. I mean, it is double the FPS. We're definitely getting uh, close to frame-to-frame -frame extra frames here. And it doesn't look all that bad in comparison to the, uh, the native rev resolution. And we're still at 1440p. We still have everything maxed out. We're just using 100% um, DLSS frame generation. And this just looks so much, it looks so good for it to not be full resolution. I mean, this is, this is fine. All right, so we got the same spot here at 75%. This is probably a setting I will use uh, most of the time because it, it kind of keeps most of the detail in there, but it's not, and it's not too low that it just looks awkward like the, uh, the 50% is. The last time I went the wrong way, I kind of want to try to go the same way that it went each time. But yeah, you can see we're getting over 100 frames per second. We dipped below 100 a few times, and that's plenty okay. Uh, if I really wanted to max this out, I could drop down to 1080p and and try that, or even 720p. But, you know, I really want to have it look more like it is running in 1440p, but getting more of the frames that we... Uh, so it can just be a little bit more smooth. So if you're asking yourself if it was worth uh, trying on this mod, getting it added, um, you there is the regular DLSS without the frame generation as well. Um, it kind of works. It works the same as the FSR two, and it does a better job at making it look better. It but it doesn't give you as much frames that you would want to see. But all in all, 
it's pretty darn good and i i think it's it's worth uh installing and giving a shot so go ahead and let me know in the comments below if you've tried this at all or if you plan on trying it what you get after installing it because i'm interested on what other cards are getting i was going to try my 2080 uh, TI just to see what it might get but yeah uh, we might get to that at another time anyway I want to thank everybody for watching this video today make sure you hit that like button definitely subscribe if you're new to the channel y'all take care and happy gaming